Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Nick. I am sitting across from Q, and we are here to save the universe along with our lovely producer, Jeff Rena. Uh, as always, how you doing today, Rena? You good? I'm good, man. Good? Yeah. <laughs> I never can tell if he's actually good or if he just says it or, yeah, or what's going on. What What's going on inside that, that beautiful melon of yours? <laughs> Did you know there's a fifth Ninja Turtle now? I did not know there was a fifth Ninja Turtle. There was. Yellow. There was a chick back yeah. in like the. No, uh, that was during the show or something. They've now written her into the actual continuum or something. In the actual comic? The IDW comics. Oh, nice. So it's a female Ninja Turtle. Mm-hmm. Where did she come from? I don't know. Her name's like. Jolika? Is that another artist? I mean, didn't it have to be like a an artist name? Nah, it in didn't order sound it to like work? artist name. But I don't know. I don't know all. The, I mean, do you know all the artist names? I don't in the world. I don't know. All I the don't. Artist names. I don't. But I know all the artist names that are currently Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. I know all those. So, yeah. But it's a, it's a lady turtle. Is so, she good? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think that's cool. I guess yeah. if they can figure out how to way to fit that's that's problem most comic book things they just decide to change something and it doesn't make any sense on how it came to be that's that's my issue with most of that stuff you're probably just trying to make it not creepy with april o'neill anymore <laughs> it was creepy <laughs> and all of them had a crush on her yeah yeah weird. and, they're and she liked casey jones yeah so they know none of them had a chance because i mean yeah they're turtles yeah i mean look <laughs> I know it's about what's inside, <laughs> but let's just be honest. <laughs> if you look like a turtle, you're not gonna get a lot of dates. I mean, go on. Except maybe other turtles. I mean, go on. I don't know what the what are some, what's, a, maybe what's other, a dating maybe website? Maybe other reptiles, or I guess turtles are amphibians, aren't they? What's a dating website? Match dot com. Match dot com. <laughs> Farmers. Farmers only. Farmers only. <laughs> go to any of those, and I bet you the people who like turtles don't get a lot of <laughs> a lot of likes. I bet they don't. Do you get likes? I bet they those? don't. Uh, I don't know if you get likes or matches or what you yeah, what you would get. I'm not sure. You you are sure. Match you had to pay for, man. I didn't get on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I was like taken before before all this all that, nonsense, all that stuff. Yeah, it would would have been. Yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not. That's just craziness. Oh, my insecurity would have been out the roof. Oh man, it already is. I mean, I put a picture on Instagram, and if I don't get more than twenty likes, I just figure everybody hates me. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, put me on something like that. Now I'm and trying yeah. to ask myself if you look like a turtle or not. I don't think, no, I don't like a turtle. I look like things, but not a turtle. I mean, of course, the goat is obviously, you know, something that I've been told I look like. Now, I, got, I used to draw Ninja Turtle heads. I, got, I, got, I could kind of draw a Ninja Turtle head with you. you I got you don't have more of a neck than most yeah, turtles. Yeah, but you don't have a poofy enough. You almost have a poofy enough cheek. That's not <laughs> quite a poofy enough cheek. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I like where this is going. <laughs> Ninja Turtles were so easy to draw. Let me show you this real quick. You just drew like <laughs> this. Good and then you just drew like this. Like that's a Ninja Turtles head. Oh, yeah, that is a Ninja Turtle head. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. also, if you fell out the circle, it's a cowboy hat. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I like the Ninja Turtles growing up, because I could draw them. I just, I think I just liked them because they were turtles and they were ninjas. Which is freaking awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and they're you know they had a they, all those uh, man the rat. I, I don't know Splinter, if I could be man. I don't know if I could be taught by a rat. I don't. <laughs> he had that wise voice. He did have the wise voice, that. but he was a rat, man. I don't. Mean, I, I don't do. Rats. I didn't buy it. No, no, I did not buy the whole Splinter deal. So he'd walk around with a cane, and then when he get attacked, he would do like the craziest jujitsu, like nothing was wrong with him. It only makes sense. Why like you got a cane? Yoda. Mind over matter, man. Yoda. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say Yoda, same, same, same deal. Is he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, in the fight with Count Dooku or Doku. Dooku? Dooku. Dooku. Is it really Dooku? Yeah. Anyway, it's an awful name. <laughs> um, <laughs> in the fight with Count Dooku, he walks in with a cane and then, like, does more flips and backflips, jumps like, you know, 20 feet off the ground, which for him is 40 feet off the ground because, you know, he's a foot tall. Why does he need a cane then? Because, I mean, I guess, you know, you just don't. He didn't really fully harness the force until he, you know, needed it in those moments. Might just so, be a pimp cane. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> I just feel like if I had the force, I would just use a little bit of it 
to not have to walk with a cane. <laughs> But that's a lot of concentrating, like, all the time. Like, all the time, just having to be focused on, like, your knee. <laughs> it's like saying Professor X is lazy because he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> he is a little lazy. <laughs> all right. Could Professor X make himself walk? Heck yeah. yeah. He, he could, like, I stuff. mean, he might not be able to. I mean, he could. Walking might look weird, but he could at least, like, levitate himself and float around. <laughs> yeah. I guess that would get old, though, just all the time. I mean, I don't want to concentrate on anything all the time. And you have to kind of be concentrated to do the the, the mind stuff. I guess. Yeah. By the way, I was watching that again last night. I fell asleep in the middle of it. The uh, Days of Future Past. Great movie. Nice. That is a, that's a great movie. Uh, that's prob- that, probably my favorite X-Men movie, I would, I would guess. I would venture to say. Yeah, I like it a lot. That in First Class, I liked a lot. Yeah. Yeah, those were, those were Logan, solid. Logan, man, that was my favorite. Logan's good, but Logan's tough. Like nice. Logan's tough for like a rewatch because I mean it's 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 like you know hard. <laughs> <laughs> There's hard stuff that happens in Logan, uh, but anyway, but yeah, Professor X is sad in Logan. Let me some X Men. Yeah, that's sad as well. Looking forward to seeing what kind of comes next with the X Men in, in the Marvel universe. Yeah, really hope somebody finally decides to make a decent Fantastic Four movie as well. Because I love the Fantastic Four, and I, I could live without them. That's how I, I'm, I'm a fan. I love, I love the Fantastic Four. They were, uh, I don't know, just always liked them. I just I've always been a big fan. I think Mr. Fantastic got my nerves. I think the number one because your name's Mr. Fantastic. I don't really, that's. <laughs> but he didn't give himself the name. I don't care. Like, don't you know what? If <laughs> if people called me, if some little kid came to me and went, "Man, you're the you're the king of all the world." I wouldn't be like, well, I guess that's my new title. Yeah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> this would immediately become Nick and King of All the World, Saint Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I'll just go by that now. You guys can just call me that now. <laughs> but I don't think does he call himself Mr. Fantastic? I don't think he look, you know, I don't think he calls himself Mr. Fantastic. I don't know. This is dumb power. I'm too. sure he doesn't sign his name, Mister Fantastic. <laughs> this is a dumb power. Stretchy. Hey, need your need your name on this uh, this auto lease there, sir. Oh, Mister Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Stretchy power. It's dude. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not. I mean, look. I, I mean, it's not that cool on paper. But cool. the things he can do. I mean, it's, you know who do, else doesn't get dates is people with stretchy power. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> that is definitely not true. <laughs> We won't take a deep dive into that, but that is definitely not true. <laughs> I had somebody use that. By the way, this week I've had somebody use that terminology with me a lot. Like I'm taking deep dives into stuff. Mm. And I've just looked at them and thought they were such like, like I, as they were saying, I was like, I mean, you, you were trying to sound so smart, but like it just felt weird. See, I don't, the deep dive I'm okay with. There's a lot of things like, I like what, um, let's unpack this for a moment. I don't like that. Really? No, I don't. That just that see that to me that sounds like you're just trying to like psychological term. Hmm. Yeah, like just yeah that that's a sound smart term to me. So 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 you're dealing with well. Let's unpack that. I hate that. Let's talk about it. How about that? We'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't like di- I don't like diving deep anyway. <laughs> My ears hurt when I do it. And so yeah, somebody's like, I'm taking a deep dive into this material. I'm like, okay. Do you like the Stephen Kerr's Chapman song though? I'm diving. Which one? Dive, dive, deep. man. Yeah, dive. Stephen Kerr's Chapman has a song called Dive. I don't know. How, I don't know that song. I'm diving oh, in. I'm di- I can't sing it because I probably like copyright stuff. Right. Yeah, it's like you're I'm in di- youth ministry and you don't know that song. Yeah, that was that was big when we were youth ministry. I was never a big Stephen Kerr's Chapman fan. I was listening to the Nail stuff. <laughs> man, Tooth and Nail records. Well, being Tooth, Na- Tooth and Nail records changed my life. No so, doubt. Changed a lot of people's lives. Yeah, no doubt. My favorite band of all time started on Tooth and Nerd. Five, Five Iron Frenzy. Yeah, they did. Yep, yep, they sure did. Yep. If you have, if you are, uh, if you are not familiar with Five Iron Frenzy, go out and check out some Five Iron Frenzy. Then that is my favorite band of all time. Uh, with my favorite front man of all time, a guy named Reese Roper, who's absolutely outside of his mind, uh, which is great. And he's like a he one of the craziest dudes on stage in that I've ever seen. And in and, and real life, I mean, he says things and does things like tweets things that are just crazy. And you know what he does uh, for a job now? He's a nurse at a retirement home. Really? <laughs> yes. 
Guess his band failed. <laughs> now they're actually still recording and still doing some tour, still doing some dates. Well, I don't care what they're doing. Nobody's doing dates now. If you if you're have if you were a lead man for a band and now you're working as a nurse in, in a nursing home, oh, yeah. your band failed. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Only if yeah. the patients recognize you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Because his band failed. <laughs> Can you imagine like being a nurse? You about being a nursing home and like somebody comes giving you a shot and it's like Bono. I mean, I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, when this guy started his band, his thought his thoughts weren't, you know what? I really want to do this for about ten years, and then I just really want to get in nursing and nursing home. Can't wait to do that. If I do that, this band will be a success. <laughs> Little dude, it's hard. I mean, especially when I mean that band is like nine piece band. I mean, to travel around and make enough money for. Provide livings for all those people. I mean, that's that's a that takes a lot, and that's why he tells himself to sleep at night. That's probably 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 what it does. <laughs> <laughs> but they they didn't. But they did. They uh they they broke up. But then they came back. Made a new album. Their new album, which by the way, may be my favorite album they made. Yeah, it's by the way, this world, world, world good. And by the way, when they did that, they thought maybe we can make it this time. <laughs> <laughs> and they were wrong. You know, they were probably all hanging out at each other's house one night and mm-hmm. somebody got out some mm-hmm. alcohol and they started mm-hmm. drinking a little too much <laughs> and then they were like, maybe we could do this again. Maybe we could make a run. I think I think with these new songs, we could really make a difference. We could be something. And they tried. Uh, well, and they a, went to work at nursing homes. As the former lead singer of a failed band, yes. That probably is exactly what happened. <laughs> I've had all those thoughts. <laughs> uh, done all those things. Uh I and, appreciate the fact and now that, and now because of my failed band, I'm here. Well, <laughs> I appreciate the you. fact that you haven't tried again. No, I really haven't. No, I haven't. I just I, mean, I don't. I don't know. I mean, do I mean unless you can make a good living doing it, it is hard. It's hard work, a hard yeah. life. Unless you, I mean, unless you make enough money to hire people to set things up for you and take things down for you, it's hard. It's it's not it's not easy. I mean, uh, if you came to me, like, just this is me being completely honest with you, Nick. Okay. This is me being honest with all the people listening. <laughs> Rena, check this out. If Nick came to me tomorrow, mm. said, Q, man, mm-hmm. I was up late last night. I just started thinking about these songs I had. And man, I just, how much I love being on that stage. And I think I got some connection. I think I can make one more run, man. I would be the guy, I'd be like, dude, you got this. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. you can do this. You can go out there, and I think you can make it. Yeah. But in my mind, I'd be like, this guy's the biggest idiot I've ever known. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I appreciate that. It's not <clears throat> to your talent. <throat> yeah, I know. Wow. It's, That's good. I think a lot of people who make it, the, I think the vast majority of people who make it make it, who aren't working as nurses in nursing homes yeah. right now, like, you that, gotta, you got to get some breaks. I mean, Yeah, they yeah, call yeah. some really yeah. big breaks. Yeah, absolutely. Or they like... Did things that you're not going to do. Yeah. They like cut corners and stuff you're not going to cut. True. You know? So, True. you know. I, I, just, it, I, just, look, I don't care if you're doing Christian music or secular music or bluegrass. It doesn't matter. Recording industry is dog eat dog world. I mean, it just absolutely is. And you've got to be willing to, you know, do what you got to do to make it. And, you know. In fact, you know I what? I, I think tomorrow I'm going to listen to some uh, Five Iron Frenzy. You should. On Spotify, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. as they get paid, I don't know what a quarter of a cent for my, <laughs> me listening to that song. Uh, I'm going to think, man, I like these guys because they're just still working jobs in nursing homes right now. Yeah, I so respect them. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Well, one of, one of them, uh, yeah, they've got some cool jobs. One of them's a um, a pastor at a church uh, that they started called Scum of the Earth Church in Denver, Colorado. Colorado. Denver, yeah, yeah, it's cool, cool. But yeah, yeah, doing some cool things. So yeah, how did we get there? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how we got to where where we are. We're talking about we're, we're talking about Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, and how they have a fifth Ninja Turtle, <laughs> and how I'm kind of anti that. And I've been thinking about. And then we got the Tooth and Nail Records. I'm, okay, anyway. Anyway, I just I've been thinking about. There's a lot of pro, <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of protesting going on currently in our culture and our world, and I don't have a lot of things that I feel inclined to protest. But I feel a little bit inclined to protest a fifth turtle. How would you go about protesting a fifth turtle? Is there like a headquarters that you can go to? Uh, well, it's at IDW Comics, I think. I'm not. I'm not sure where they're out of. But turtles is like their main 
their main money maker. I would, I would assume so. Yeah, yeah. So they don't have a lot more. But uh, I think – Can you just stand outside a sewer grate? <laughs> I think I would go. Protest to I think I would go to the local trade day, and find that guy who sells turtles, and just hold a sign <laughs> that would say, "No more turtles." <laughs> you don't think that would get misconstrued in any way, shape, or form? Possibly, but <laughs> I wouldn't know what it meant. And when somebody go, "Why don't you like turtles?" I'd be like, "I love turtles." The four: <laughs> Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael. And Michael Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Yeah. I love those four turtles. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people are going to be mad. They're like, you're just mad because it's a lady turtle. I'm not mad because it's a lady turtle. No, I don't think it has this has anything to do with it. With it. Right? No, it really doesn't. If one of the original four had been lady turtle, I'd been fine. Yeah. But like, there was nothing wrong with the four. They ha- they all have their part. Donatello's super smart. Yeah. Right? Uh, Tech guy. Uh, yeah. Michelangelo is kind of the, the goofball Loose fun cannon. guy. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Le- Leonardo's the leader. Yep. And then Raphael's the, the angry guy. Yeah. I mean, you don't need anything else. Yeah. In fact, whenever I'm trying to hire staff, that's what I look for. So it's four personalities. <laughs> Which one are you? The ang- you the you're the angry guy or the loose can? I think you are all four at some point or another. Definitely of the tech guy. You're definitely <laughs> never the tech guy. No. No. <laughs> I'm splintered. <laughs> but there's also a, a comic con coming up local. I thought about going there and. And protesting about the the fact that we've added a turtle there. Like, I just, maybe somebody there would be connected. And I thought they'd see it. And it might do something for them. I just realized, like, a great present that I'm going to get one of your daughters. Not a turtle. No, I'm going to get them a, a fifth turtle Halloween costume. Don't do that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Don't do and that. they're going to love it. And they're going to wear it. And if you make if you tell them not to wear it, they're going to get so mad at you. <laughs> I will tell them not to wear it. <laughs> Actually, I'll take that yellow and I'll paint it a different color. <laughs> the truth is, is like you can protest anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, and some people are protesting things that are super important to yeah, them, but absolutely. people protest all things all the time. My brother, my brother, I'll never forget the night he protested Domino's. It was a very, he came to my house. The night? The night, yes. It was 1130 at night, all right? And he came, he'd come to my house. And we were playing Magic the Gathering. You guys, you know, we, yeah, nerd, yeah. we nerd out with some of that sometimes. Yeah. Some guys were over. And we was like, let's order some pizza. And my brother is a really great dude. Yeah. But can have a short fuse. He's got a little bit of a quick okay. trigger. Yes. 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 So, mm-hmm. But if you do the right thing, it's never going to happen. But anyway, he calls. And this person answers from Domino's. And is like, you know, can we take your order? Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, I'd like to order. And he says these pizza. He goes, um... Well, your phone number doesn't match up to your address. And he goes, "Yeah, because I'm at my brother's house." He goes, "Well, we can't deliver if your phone number doesn't doesn't match up with your address." And then I'm like, I hear and I see him like when my brother clicks, he like clicks. It's like <laughs> now ignorance has just, entered the conversation, <laughs> and he's like has no no room for ignorance, <laughs> All right? And so I try to stop it from like going. Defcon. Yeah, you know, I, I'm like, hey, just just tell my cell phone number. Yeah, I say my cell phone number is. I say my cell phone number. Mm. This is my house. They delivered to my house before. Mm. And he goes, oh, sorry. Well, um, since it's not the number that called us, we can't deliver pizza at this time to a number that doesn't match up to a house. And this is what my brother said. He goes, I want to speak to your man. No, no, I don't want to speak to your manager. I want you to know that I'll never eat Domino's pizza for as long as I live anymore. <laughs> Because you're an idiot and you don't know how to handle customers. And and, and and I don't even care to talk to you and hung up on him. And to this day, like if if my brother was here and we had free Domino's pizza over there, I promise you he'll never eat a bite of it. He decided from that moment, hardcore, he I think he could be starving. And somebody would be like, dude, I got Domino's pizza. He'd be like, Screw you. I'm not eating Domino's pizza. <laughs> Those guys are idiots. And he will not eat Domino's pizza. How long ago was that? Three years. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty soon. That's, so, that's commitment. Yeah. Yeah. That's commitment. He's that way. He won't go to Walmart anymore right now. Oh, I know. I know about the Walmart store. Yeah. He told me the Walmart store. Yeah. yeah. He basically walked up early in the morning with an arm full of stuff and they wouldn't. He had 
the only lanes to check out were self checkout. Yeah, and she and yeah. this person standing at a lane to check out. And was like, no, we can't check you out. You have to go. He goes, nobody's in here. You're standing here. The lights on. He's like, no, you have to use self checkout. He left everything right there. Yeah, just poured it out there and, and left just, and, and left. said, I'll never come back to Walmart again. Yeah. <laughs> Said he had like a hundred dollars worth of stuff yeah. for like like your girls and Christmas yeah. like Christmas yeah, yeah Christmas, it was Christmas yeah. stuff yeah. this last year yeah yeah but he has no tolerance for ignorance and so yeah. that's how he protests is just I'm not I'm not yeah. gonna go to those places anymore yeah if they're ignorant and don't yeah. do things right I just won't support them yeah I got to be on the other end of that call last week by the way like talking about him yelling at somebody at Domino's I got to be on the other end of that call well, somebody yelled at you yeah yeah it, and it did they, did they protest you they are they're protesting my company. <laughs> there you go it's a yeah a client uh that i was it's a client that i was handed because somebody was let go and i kind of found out that this might be it basically they set up a deal with this company that our company didn't really care for and so when they left there was nobody to follow through on what was promised blah blah blah, blah on and on and on and so i've been kind of getting held accountable for what somebody else promised hmm. and I can't get anybody at my company to do it because they never wanted it to be promised to begin with. <laughs> so, uh, so ultimately I got the call like, Hey, God, apparently they had talked to somebody else in my company and that person in the company was rude to them. And so you were rude to us. You're not holding your word. We're done. We'll never use you again. Never, you know, you're out done. Forget it. It's over. Wow. Yeah. And it's 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 t- and I, I kind of feel for the dude at Domino's a little bit because it probably wasn't his fault. You think? Well, it wasn't the manager. No, 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 it wasn't the manager. I think whoever answered that phone call was just lazy and didn't want to deliver pizzas that night. I guess that's a possibility. I mean, but nine times out of ten, whenever you're like griping out somebody on like I, I've called and had issues with television service. Oh goodness. You know, and you're, I'm not talking to the person who is making any decisions. And so you, you, but you got to gripe at somebody, and, you know, you got to. So, you know, I, I just hope that they get to turn around and gripe at somebody and the, and the, the chain of griping goes on so that everybody can, can feel better. But it's, it's a great, I mean, it's a great thing of our country. These people, yeah. my brother, whoever, me, mm-hmm. we all get the ability to protest if we yeah. want to. We can protest things. We can do it different ways. We ha- can, ha- however we want yeah. to, as long as it's not hurting anyone yep. else. Yep. Right. We have ability mm-hmm. to do like protests mm-hmm. and you can boycott and you mm-hmm. can do all these type of things. I just think it's, a really good part of um, our country, the fact that we have the freedom to do that. Yeah. Um, as long as we're, like you said, doing it in a responsible way. Yeah, absolutely. But we can make, if we have personal preferences or we're passionate about things, yeah. we can make those preferences yeah. known. Yeah. I mean, I've even heard, you know, we, and of course we don't agree in a lot of ways with how people protest, but I've even, I've even heard a veteran say before, that somebody asked him about people kneeling during the national anthem at football games and as sports get going again, that's going to be a big, thing i've heard a lot of athletes being asked if they're going to kneel during the national anthem and uh i heard a, a veteran say one time uh I'm, you know I, I love what he said he said uh I, I fought and died for that flag I, I fought and you know lived my life and my friends died for that flag and he said so in a way it really hurts when people kneel down or protest uh but also i fought and then my friends died for your right to be able to do that yeah. So, you know, I mean, it, like I said, as long as it's not hurting anybody else, protest is good. Now we have some issues going on in our society today where protests are hurting other people. Yes. Which is never, never good. Uh, and I think when you do that, I think you're kind of getting the opposite, doing the opposite of what you're hope, hopefully wanting to do. Uh, and there's really bad examples of that, but I actually have an example of that today. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe uh, this is this is one of the most interesting protests since we're on the subject of protest. This is one of the most interesting protests I've ever seen, and I, I, I really want to. Now, is this someone wanna, who is saving their world by protesting a bit here? I think they think they are. <laughs> That's a problem. They're trying to save their little area of the world. That's a problem. Yes. We have people who think they're saving okay. the world who aren't doing a very good yes, job. Yes, exactly. So, um, I'll just get right into it. Stomach churning footage shows an elderly woman smearing what appears to be human feces on a children's swing she wants removed. <laughs> the disturbing act was captured by a witness who said they saw the unnamed 90 year old woman smothering the swing with the brown substance from a plastic bag. Smothering. <laughs> smothering. Don't you love that word? <laughs> a voice off camera. I love this. 
The voice off camera says in the video, Dear Gachina residents, our swings, our swings are getting covered with shit again. <laughs> again. Local residents in Gachina, Russia, claim the substance is human feces and says the, pis- the pensioner has been doing similar things for years as she wants the swings removed so that she can have a flower bed there <laughs> instead. So I guess she's like pre-fertilizing. <laughs> Uh, residents have repeatedly called the police about the problem, but the authorities say social services need to deal with the issue, so police don't even want anything oh, to do with this. They are passing that one <laughs> all down the line. Local, me- local media state, when residents try and clean the swing, the elderly woman has attacked them with a shovel. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. They also claim she's even tried to dig the swing out by herself in the past, but failed. So, okay. wow. Okay, so... Can we just can we just try to go in I'm just trying to go in my mind here a second and ask myself when do I get to that point? Like when do I get to the point where I'm like I'm getting rid of this freaking swing. <laughs> like that's DEFCON level. Right? Oh, yeah, about, that's absolutely. that's like I'm going all the way. Yeah. I'm I've never I, I'm I'm gonna be quite honest. I'm gonna I'm gonna admit something. All right. <laughs> I've never smeared my own feces on anything. <laughs> I haven't. Have you? I don't think so. Uh, no, no, I don't. I don't think that toilet paper. <laughs> I've never. No, I've never. I've never gotten that point. I don't, I don't think I ever thought about it. No, 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 not even crossed my mind. No, like as I'm thinking about Ninja Turtles, there's no way I'm getting like a. I mean, I'm not gonna get an episode <laughs> with the fifth turtle on it and smear feces on it and, and hold it out to people. That's not what I'm gonna do. Will you go? So what? Where'd she go? You, how did she get to, there in her mind? I don't know. I don't know how she got there in her mind. I guess she was just thinking, what's what's the one thing I can put on the swing that nobody will want to use it ever? By the way, you, you and she didn't have ability to get nuclear waste. <laughs> <laughs> if I live in Russia, if I live in that community, mm-hmm. she got what she wanted. <laughs> like yeah. She wins. Yeah. Like, let me tell you, if you want to, if you want to know how to like beat me at a game. <laughs> Just get some human feces and put it on whatever you want me to not touch, and I won't touch it. It can be yours forever. <laughs> I don't care what it is. So what if like your daughter comes home one day, like just like covered and covered in feces? What if she like fail in feces? How's that are even you, are happen? You, are you gonna be done? How's that happen? Are you done with her? How does that even happen? <laughs> it's, it's happened. No, so, it hasn't. No, look, we had a, a person in Mexico on a mission trip who fell into a latrine. No. Yes. Yeah, and they were covered in human excrement. Oh, that's a bad day. <laughs> that's a really bad day. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I survived that. I, I'm, I may throw up so much I die <laughs> in that situation. What do you do? In can the moment? you throw it? Can you throw up so much that you just? That what you do you just do die? in the moment when you're down there? I don't know. I mean, I, I start throwing up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no. I mean, that's just like the, that, that. So how do you climb that out of the hole while, while you're throwing, throwing up? While you're throwing up. How do you climb out while you're throwing up? You just do. <laughs> Have you never like ran away throwing up before? Huh? Have you ever like ran away throwing up before? Like run and throwing up at the same time? Yeah. No, I've stopped uh, running and throwing up before. I think I did that once in football. Okay. Like in college, my first three days. Yeah. Yeah, I our threw, co- I threw my mask like. Oh was, yeah. Oh, I've, oh, I've done that, and that's awful. But it was mostly water oh. at that point for me. One time, when I was at church, when I was thirteen, fourteen, uh, the air conditioner went out, so mm-hmm. everybody was really uncomfortable. <laughs> and I guess uh, somebody made a mess in their pants, and it filled the entire sanctuary the smell and i had to run out and i was gagging because <laughs> it was <laughs> i was the only one apparently like everybody else was i guess polite but yeah i threw up in the parking lot for like five minutes <laughs> just... smells can be the worst of anything <laughs> they really can uh, i mean can you but can you imagine like in that vat like or what or in that latrine and you're throwing up so you can't like close your mouth so Stuff's going in and coming out. Oh, gosh. Listen, I, if you're out there wanting to protest, do not 
Pro- smear feces on things. You know, protest this episode. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> you just That's don't awful. do that. No. There's kids that want to swing on there. Yeah. There's kids that want to just don't sit do on it. there and swing. Don't, and somebody, and I guarantee you, somebody. Has and if been, you're 90, by the way, you're 90. 90 years old. Like, how long are you going to use a flower bed if you put it in there? Like a year, two, at what, ten at the max. At what point is it okay to use a tranquilizer on a ninety-year-old woman? At that point, it's okay. She's smearing. She's smearing it on the swing. You can just take her out with like a blowgun or something. You can at least throw something at her soft, like I don't know, a pack of deli meat. <laughs> like if you're if you're ninety and doing that, you you deserve to get hit by a pack of deli meat. Can I can I throw dung at her? That yeah. might be the way to go. Then with I think it. you're like stupid nerd level. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think that's good, man. Can I tell you one of the most... Can I go up and get a good sniff of the swing and just vomit all over? Because <laughs> that's what would happen. Jeff went to work, or Jeff Reno went to work with me, work out with me one time, mm. and he went outside and like, <laughs> threw up everywhere. After I passed out. Yeah, yeah he kind of passed out and then threw up. <laughs> I hate I hate throwing up. I hate it so bad. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I hate it. No, I, I'll, I'll do anything to keep from doing it. I'll feel miserable for two days just to keep from throwing up. It's probably not good. I know it's not good. I, I wish will. I could throw up easier. We shouldn't talk about this much. Right? No. <laughs> like, here's like, if you're protesting, if you're protesting, if you're protesting, mm-hmm. there's things to protest out there, all right? And, there is. And there's ways to do it. Yeah. This is not one of those ways. And listen, <laughs> if you happen, if this 90-year-old lady happens to be tuning in <laughs> to Nick and Q says the universe, maybe you speak English and you're Russian world <laughs> Stop it. Just stop it. Stop getting <laughs> human stop feces it. and smearing it on things. Because, That's not okay. Because you know what? Guess what? You're 90 years old. You're not going to live that much longer. And this is what you're going to get to be known for. Yeah. This is all, yeah, this is all you'll be known for. Nobody <laughs> knows. This lady has 90 years of life. And we're here talking about yeah. nothing that happened. And this is the first time she's ever been in a newspaper or magazine, I guarantee you. <laughs> nothing that happened before this. It doesn't matter. She could have done something great. <laughs> She could have, when she was 30, I don't know what happened seven years ago. Cured she polio. Could, she, yeah, she could have cured polio. Wouldn't matter at this moment. Because we ain't going to talk about that because you're putting feces on your hand and you're smearing it on, on swings that kids want to get in. This oh. is the legacy you've left for yourself. Smothering. Look, smothering it. Look, if you look, we all want to leave legacies. And sometimes protesting is part of it. Yeah. But don't put feces on your hands and smother things with it. That is not the way to get it done. It's not. No. Yeah, there's actually a kid uh, later on in the story. I didn't read the whole thing for time's sake, but there's a kid later on in the story that slid down a slide that he did not know was covered oh. in feces. And so by the time he got to the bottom, he was covered in feces. That's yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> wrong. So was it slick down the slide or was it dry? <laughs> didn't say. <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> I hope it was slick. I hope it at least had a good time. <laughs> So listen. He was like, man, I can't believe this slide's going this fast today. <laughs> if you find yourself listening to this, it's episode nine. All right? And this story is taking us to a very dark place. But episode 10 is coming to you next week. Oh, yeah, man. I'm excited. And it yeah. is our episode where we're answering questions. Yeah, we're answering uh, listener questions. So we need to make sure you get plenty of those uh, in. You can do it. Uh, comment on Facebook or uh, you can direct message us on Twitter or Instagram. Email us at nickandq at gmail.com. Uh, lots of ways to get in touch with us. We need you uh, to get us some good questions because it's going to be a lot of fun. That's yeah, I can't wait. I love yeah. answering questions because I know everything. Yeah. And I think we're just going to go like, I think we're just going to let Rena have them and we're not, I don't think we're going to do any prep. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I don't really need prep. Works. Yeah. <laughs> They were just going to kind of go, go with it. But, uh, hey, God, make sure, uh, if you haven't already, go subscribe to us on whatever uh, you're listening to us on, whatever podcast platform. Uh, go like us. Uh, rate us. We need uh, – we have to have, like, so many reviews before they'll actually, like, publish, like, our rating. So, man, that would be great if you'd give us a rating. Unless it's less than four, then don't. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a four, though. <laughs> take a four. I'm good with a four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every, I mean, every now I'm not get mad if I get it like a three every now and then. No. But you give me low on that. Don't if, even do it. If you give just, me... just go away. Or, yeah. you know what? If you do, I'll find your house and I will smear feet through the door. <laughs> if you give us a three with constructive criticism, I'm okay with it. 
Like, give me a, if you give me a three, tell me how I can get to a four. Yes. <laughs> all right. That's what I tell my wife all the time. And don't forget, <laughs> I think it's, I'm, I'm really excited about, I don't forget if, you, if you're listening to this, you can go check out our YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. We're talking about doing some other things. Yeah. Doing, too, some, so. doing some other things, kind of making a, uh, a Nick and Q universe inside Nick and Q saves the universe. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, Cause man, I'm having a good time doing this and uh, nobody's given us any money to do it yet, but. It's but, not. It's good for me. Yeah, but one day we'll be rich. Yeah, yeah. Probably not from this, <laughs> and probably you, and you, probably not at all. <laughs> probably when you decide to start your band back up. Probably will. Yeah, I'll start my band back up, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll start doing live shows with Nick and Q and and my band. <laughs> That's how I'll get him involved. <laughs> hey, thank you for tuning in. On behalf of Rena Q, I'm Nick. The universe is once again a safe place to live. You are welcome.